item number I, uh, I believe Councilman Krause, you've withdrawn that, is that correct? Okay. So that brings us then to council reports. Does anyone have a council report tonight? Please, council. Dave, go first. <laughs> I want to thank uh, the council for this resolution. Uh, I think I'd like to encourage everybody to go by the co-op one day and just take a look at people standing there waiting for food and consider what that means. These people are qualified. It's not a matter you just stop by and say, I'm hungry, give me some food. Uh, Laura Drake does an excellent job with it and, and her whole staff. And I think when you see people standing there, it really brings it home. And uh, I'd advise you to keep an eye out for the Give Hunger the Boot signs that are going to start appearing in more places in and around Snellville and uh, help out where you can. These people desperately need our help, and uh, I think this is an excellent way to do it. We're fortunate to have a lot of businesses in the city who are participating eagerly. Uh, I'll get to the arm twisting later, but I don't know that I'll have to do that. Uh, Mike Foy, Sam and Amy Roper uh, have already <coughs> excuse me, participated. Uh, Mellow Mushroom has indicated they're going to O'Charlie's uh, Summit Chase Country Club has also raised both money and food. And some of these efforts will be ongoing. We're going to get collection bins in the various restaurants so that anytime you have extra food or just feel like you need to go out, have something to eat, bring some food with you, and drop it off for somebody else who's not quite as fortunate. Thank you. Councilman Howard. Thank you. Uh, yeah, it, to echo what Dave said, let the boot inspire you. That's a big old boot. Let the boot inspire you. Uh, just to, again, a couple of meetings ago, we talked about the Snow Community Garden, and, and one of the things at the charrette meetings that we talked about and what I brought up in here is the word community. And I think Mayor Pro Tem Witts, you know, indicated tonight that that, that is certainly something that, that's at the top of the list for our community. Um, the fact that STAT... The Snellville Police Academy and the Rotary is going to combine efforts is just an example of that. And the fact that we, we've got our arts program, I've been to a couple of the meetings myself, and it, it's, there is so much good in Snellville. Do not lose sight of that. There is so much good. All you have to do is step up and be a part of it. So everybody travel safe going home tonight, and thank you all for coming, and uh, we appreciate it. Emperor Tim Witz. A uh, couple things. First of all, Russell, uh, we've known each other two and a half years. I've served up here with you for a little over two years. I'm going to tell you you're going to be missed. Um, we didn't always agree on everything, but one thing we did do is we always respected each other's opinions. We always shook hands with each other in the eye and got it worked out. And I, you have my utmost respect. And now you're going to be able to go back to being rusty again, right? <laughs> Um, last Saturday we had a uh, our first um, workshop or retreat. It went very, very well. I was encouraged leaving it. Um, hopefully we're going to have another one in the near future where we can set some goals for the city where we can work together as a council to make sure that the city keeps moving in the direction that it needs to keep moving. And thanks to many of you out there as continuing to do that. And I thank all of you for that. And then uh, lastly, I, I want to commend two of my, uh, my colleagues up here. Last November, uh, on the 14th, when we were sworn in, they were sworn in, um, they both said that they had a, they had a project that they, they thought was important to them. David talked about giving hung, hunger the boot, and Diane talked about an emergency warning system for the city. These two council people, in less than six months, have made major strides in doing that. And it's, it should be a, uh, what I consider a, um, a, an early, it should, we should all be inspired by what they've done. We, everybody talks about those two people have accomplished it. Raising $7,000 for giving hunger the boot in less than six months is an accomplishment. Um, Diane, I, I know how many hours you've spent, how many meetings you've been at, how many phone calls you've made to me and God knows the other people. You have really dedicated yourself to getting this early warning system to the city and on behalf of the city, I want to thank you for your dedication to that. Thank you. 
Councilman Krause, any comments tonight? You don't have to. I believe my <laughs> report intertwined through this whole council agenda this evening. Thank you. Thank you. Councilman Savani, council report. Mayor, I don't have a report. I just want to um, uh, kind of piggyback of what uh, Mayor Pro, Pro Tem Witt said. Uh, Mr. Mr. Treadway, uh, this is your last uh, formal sitting up here with us. I think you need to savor the moment here. <laughs> this is this is probably one of the uh, one of the uh, quickest uh, meetings that we've had for so long. Uh, five o'clock in the morning. As many of you know, I leave I leave home about five fifteen in the morning. Um, and I head to work down by the airport. This has been going on for 20 some odd years and, and, and I utilize that time at the traffic light, Chief, I do make sure that I'm stopped. And I text uh, Mr. Treadway, 5.15 in the morning, 5.16, I get a response. So I was wondering, is <laughs> what are you doing up at 5.15 in the morning? <laughs> you didn't hear what the response was. That's important. <laughs> well, the response was, cordial and it was fantastic and I and and I'll tell you what I, I bet you on the behalf of the city and everybody sitting out here uh, we're all gonna miss you tremendously and Sevierville has gained a, a great professional a man that that uh, will certainly take them and set them straight and I do appreciate all the time that you spent with us the advice the professional advice and now I know what a tax digest is and I appreciate all the time and the lessons you've given me in that private room up, upstairs good luck with your new job uh, Russell I appreciate it. And that concludes council reports.